Chance the Rapper is part of the ever-expanding group of hip-hop artists giving back to their communities. Singer Tyrese's family expanded. Comedian Cat Williams is in trouble again. Actor Damon Wayans just can't take it anymore. Corey Softdrinks has some explaining to do. Actresses Erica Alexander and Janelle Monae got called up for exciting opportunities. Welcome to What's the 4 and one your smart source for urban lifestyle and entertainment news. I'm Kizzy Khan. I'm Onika McLean. Welcome, hey. guys. Welcome. Got I feel better. <laughs> I feel a little bit better. Oh. She doesn't want me to talk about glitter, so I won't talk about glitter. But, but she still shout out, mentioned rest in, glitter. Rest in peace, glitter. R.I.P. Uh, yes. you, can, you can see all the photos that I have on Diva of Comedy on Instagram. <laughs> Onika McLean. Oh, my God. Okay, listen, let's start on a happy note with some good news, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so you know, anytime you mention Chance the Rapper, it's got to be something good, right? Whoop, whoop. So, during the annual summit for his nonprofit, Social Works, Chance pledged to donate $1 million to mental health services in his hometown of Chicago, girl. A million dollars. Chance discussed his My State of Mind initiative, which will work to ensure that Chicago residents have access to mental health resources. Word. So to kick it off, Social Works will be giving $100,000 to grants, and it's to six mental health providers in Cook County. So oh, he's doing amazing. Nice, nice. Yeah, I, exactly. want, I, I hope that is a situation where he says what population they have to um, uh, give the money to. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, okay. You know, like like depression or anxiety or uh, stresses related to to um, monetary stuff because that's a, that's a, that, you know. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they'll they'll cover the whole gamut actually. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's that's amazing. Like nice. I love Go chance. chance. Yeah. I like chance too. Mm -hmm. I like chance. So yes. rapper. Uh, speaking of artists, yeah, Tyrese and his uh, oh, yeah. and his uh, wife. Samantha Lee Gibson just mm -hmm. welcomed their first baby girl together. Nice. Very yes. nice. Congratulations. Soraya. She, they posted her on Instagram. Well, they didn't really post her because, you know, you got to cut the check in order to see the baby. <laughs> but he was dancing with her. He was her dancing. It was really sweet. And then it was a, um, uh, and then he posted, like, uh, her voice on Instagram. So congratulations to you guys. Congrats. Yes. Nice. And good news from him. Finally, because you know, for a while he had went off the rails. Yeah, yeah. That was a good story after the mental health thing, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm but... quick with mine. Sorry. <laughs> but you know who else has gone off the rails? Your boy. Come get your boy, Cat Williams. So we just talked about Cat, right? Mr. Cat Williams, I just want to say one thing. I'm not saying one thing. <laughs> You afraid he gonna come for your edges or beat you up? And my like, edges just got back with the with the BB Judy. Shout out to BB Judy. Follow her on Instagram. We gonna hashtag her with the miracle job. Listen, so, you know what? These edges are beautiful. They, they have come back quite nice. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, you trying to yeah. say I had bad edges before? You just said you okay. had bad edges. I'm just saying certain things I could say, Kizzy. Okay. Anyway, you see Kat, what I'm saying, guys? She want to talk about people edges. Cat Williams, her boy, right, was arrested. What? Again, dang. They bothering him now. They For him. allegedly attacking the driver, right, of a town car that was supposed to take him to a performance venue in Portland. Now, It's Kat, so boring in Portland. No, because okay. Cat was there, actually, to be on Nick Cannon's Wild and Out. He was about to perform in the show. I saw him. He was like, listen, don't come for Nick Cannon unless he was, like, like bigging up Nick Cannon. I oh saw some my, videos on that. On oh, the my okay, God. Sorry. Well, <laughs> for whatever I'm reason. just shut up. The reason why he allegedly attacked his driver was because they came, got into some kind of altercation because he wanted to transport his dog with him. And I, I don't know why the driver either didn't want to do that or whatever. So, yeah. He Hashtag got arrested. pet lovers. How, how are you? That's how are, boy. How are you going <laughs> to How are you gonna arrest pet lovers? I'm just saying. Hashtag pet lovers. Okay. No, Cruelty during, towards animals. Mm -mm, mm -mm. During the arrest now, the police also discovered he had an out-of-state warrant for weed possession too so but for how yeah. for weed possession yes they in are Georgia. bothering him in Georgia. weed possession okay well it was a warrant I'm, I'm not even gonna say anything about that because you know what the she man can't. the man the man is out to get him the man is not the man was out to get him when he attacked the driver <laughs> like, you know what he uh -uh. couldn't take it you know he's short you know when you're short you be getting mad you get you mad know? when you're short you're like I'm, I mean, I'm 4'11". I understand that. Okay. Oh, God. Whatever. Your, mm -mm. So, listen. 
in more comedy news, hmm. Damon Wayans. Okay. Right. He's okay. going out. Not unlike Trump and the international <laughs> trade negotiations. Oh, <laughs> wow, that was a that was a, boom, boom, boom. a fox is <laughs> lethal weapon <laughs> to the TV series. So he uh -huh. says he says that he needs to spend more time with his family, and okay. he has some health concerns, and he's like he, he's not doing it. Oh well, yeah. It was reported on um, Electronic Urban Report. That's what they said that he's he's not doing it. I guess he's just like I wonder. It. I hope he's okay. He's saying health issues. I hope he's fine. You know, I'm, you know, rooting sometimes, for him. Sometimes you just need a break. You yeah. Know? Family yeah. first. Well, hope he gets better. Yeah, so you know that 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 um that stinky, I, I don't want to say stinky because they don't sue me, right? But you know on the, the bodegas, they have a bunch of boxes, right, in the front of the store. Every bodega have a bunch of boxes in front of the store of this lacrosse <laughs> nasty <laughs> salsa water. You, do you know that? <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about? Girl, I don't know like La, La Croix or La Croix is it La Croix, or La Croix, La Croix we, whatever it is. We're not I don't sure like of it. the pronunciation. Neither we could have checked it, but we don't care. So anyway, so let me tell you what's happening. So <laughs> there's a class action suit apparently about, about against what? them because they found uh, um, insecticides that they have for, like cockroach insecticides in it. In it. Ooh. Uh, so I don't. In, in, I don't know. In, ooh. Ooh. In, uh, in, I don't know. I don't know what's happening with that. But it's in your uh, your local uh, bodega store. But it's not really a bodega anymore because all the Arabs own it. So I don't know what would you call it. What? Is Girl. that racist? I'm sorry. Mm. Disavow. Disavow. Okay. The, yes. The 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 stuff. Mm -mm. The the words that come out of Onika McLean mouth may not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> they don't reflect the views of our co-hosts. No, the executive producer. No, the show. What's the four and one? They are just jokes. Hashtag talent. Be like, it's just jokes. But this All is right. that's that's a true story. Like, I that, mean, that's crazy. That is that is crazy. I I'm glad I have not ever been a fan and have not been drinking that. Oh lord. Yeah. Me. It wasn't. Yeah. I I've I've tried it. Someone I know just posted like, oh, they have it in a bottle now. Really? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyway, in casting news, some black girl magic news, actress Erica Alexander will be playing a therapist oh. with telepathic abilities on a CW's DC's comic base, Black Lightning, and that's nice. for season two. That's right? nice, that's nice. Exactly, and my girl Janelle Monet will be joining Cynthia Arrivo in the upcoming Focus Features movie, Harriet. Like Able. Harriet tell me, like, get a gun. Yeah, exactly. That's a biopic. Like I, like, I freed a thousand. I could have freed a thousand more if they know they, they were slaves. slaves. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, your girl so. got bars. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was anyway, bars. That was That's no Harriet tell me bars. That was no. That's original mm -hmm. bars. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Okay. No. Sorry. <laughs> but yes, shout out to that black girl magic. Mm -hmm. Going on with T.I. Mm. So what had happened was mm. T.I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> T.I. Harris, right? You know they have the new family hustle going coming up, right? Right, the so new he season, has, right. So he has this song out where he is confessing his infidelities as it relates to Tiny, and he's like, you know, basically right. he's a bastard and all that stuff. And oh I was like, wow, good for T.I. So he's doing a whole Jay-Z thing, basically. Not really, because Jay-Z was sorry, and T.I. was just like kind of stating how he acts. <laughs> he was like, I really do. So I don't know. Oh, dang. I don't know. That's but I like T.I. I really like him a lot, but he got to yeah. stop. You got to stop cheating on your girlfriend. I mean, your wife, sir. That's Ooh. not work. Wow. No, that was gets, shady. No, he gets cheated. No, he cheats on his wife. Like, for real. He gets busted. you called her girlfriend at first. Shady. Tell no, I wasn't it. trying to be shady because I like her. No. Oh, So okay. don't cheat. But you know what it is? Don't get caught. Like, I don't get it. Just get somebody on the side, pay them some money, and, like, <laughs> just. <laughs> you know that. I will be that person, but I'm old at this point. And nobody oh, God, wants, no. like, no, a 45-year-old, like, Kept woman, because I won't keep quiet. <laughs> Would you shut the? You know we gonna let her cool off, so we are gonna take a quick break. And in the meantime, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, What's the Four One TV. And if you're listening to us on podcast or the Alexa Flash Briefing, thank you. Now go tell a friend, and both of you guys, please subscribe. We'll and be like right our back. Facebook, and like our Facebook. Yes. Welcome back to What's the 4 and one Now we're bringing you stories that are popping. And Onika, girl, you were right. You were right. What happened? You called it the civil lawsuits against Bill Cosby are all 
already started. Ching 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 ching. I'm I'm telling you, like Nada Andrea Constant has got her justice. Another accuser, Judy Huff, has a trial date against Bill Cosby. So Huff, you know, if you remember, we had, you know reported on this many many remind, months ago. Remind us. Remind she us. accused Cosby of molesting her when she was 15 years old at the Playboy Mansion. Okay, can I just stop? She was, that's the woman that was at the Playboy Mansion at 15 at 15 yes. and we were like where's the suit against Hugh Hefner or <laughs> in the Playboy establishment the whole yeah because he's dead Hugh Hefner's dead but yeah but he could, his estate can be sued like it does not matter when you're rich there's no dying it keeps right. going <laughs> right well okay well she has not done that but she has brought a suit against Bill Cosby mm -hmm. and she has a hearing in November and a trial date set for December now compare that Brett Kavanaugh. We are talking about him last week and you know we you know we had the doctor come out and give this really impassioned plea about what happened to her and Brett Kavanaugh gets confirmed to the US Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. So my question is what does this say about the strength of Me Too, right? Does it affect everyone equally or are some people still getting a pass? So the thing is, right, the reason why we even have a Me Too is because of Donald Trump. That's always been my stance, and I don't know what you, if you guys agree. No. I, no, I, I think that what happened in America, because this has been a status quo, women have been violated for years and years and years, and centuries uh -huh. and centuries, and, centuries. And, and once we get the grab the boo, right, and we're like, this is going to be the president, we have to take a stand. It's no, time but to it's. Stop. I mean, well, I think they. Uh, yeah, I do it's think. Up. I think that was a lot of people had an issue with that. Like, how are we, you know, elevating this man to the highest, you know, state in the land, and he's, you know, an alleged sex abuser, right? Right. Um. But yeah, I mean, Harvey so Weinstein it, so, and all so, that. So, so we haven't really gotten Trump yet, right? And not we, uh, them, uh, haven't gotten Trump yet, and and um. Brett Kavanaugh, anything that's coming out of that Trump administration, it's 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 just shaky. Yeah, that's what it's I was just saying. It's shaky. You know, week. so at the end of the day, Bill Cosby is an entertainer, right? Mm -hmm. It's women have dealt with this for centuries, like I said before. And I'm and what I'm thinking about as I listen to Dr. Ford, I was like, how does she remember so much mm -hmm. as it relates to like an almost break? You know what I'm trying she to remembers, say? Yeah, I mean, you she, do remember. It gets burned into your memory. It yeah. gets burned into your memory, but, she but, said. But indelible most in women that I've talked to have had that experience. Wait. Most women have had that experience uh, uh, several times, inappropriate behavior. Like, for her to remember so far back, it just, it just, it just like puzzles me a little bit how what I'm do you not, mean and not that not that i don't believe her because i do but i'm just saying like how was her life that that stuck out so much maybe because I just, it was it was maybe very I just traumatic. had so much trauma it, in yeah. my life that i'm like that would have been like oh at least i got that way you know what i mean well i guess so but for her definitely it was a traumatic experience and you know she said she had to go to therapy she says she still has two two front doors because she's afraid of people getting in i mean it trauma affects people differently and i think the fact that she remembered it so much means to me it made it seem very very credible and it's unfortunate and you know what it is and she too. wasn't a hot girl too you know that's what probably happened you know what i'm trying to say because a lot of um predators they will pick women that are not so attractive and and think that they can do certain things to them and then they can trick them and into believing that maybe if you don't say anything i'll be your boyfriend wow. i'm telling you a predatory mindset is that i've seen it happen well, we, well you know predators like prey mm -hmm. <laughs> so they're you know they're gonna find prey mm -hmm. regardless um but i think this is a terrible terrible thing for the supreme court so now you have clarence thomas now you have brett kavanaugh what does that say about women and the voices of women and, and the experiences of women mm -hmm. it just mm -hmm. it i can't yeah. think of the woman's name um that uh voted for him i can't think of her name uh, who voted for him for it was a woman she said that she oh susan collins senator right. susan collins right yeah. she said that she had a conversation with him and he really assured her that roe v wade wouldn't flip but what happened is her own seat is on the line and so many people were like coming for her edges people she, immediately yeah. started <laughs> they were coming for her edges for her. 
her her opposer right. who hasn't even been picked yet. They right. don't even know who it so, is. So that's what it is. Like you got to remember that. Like, yeah. like at this time, the Senate, everyone is about to change. The guard is about to change. So everyone's running scared. So no, you know. but but there are people who stood up. Look at Senator Heidi Heitkamp. Mm -hmm. Like she's, you know, she's very in a lot of danger. She right. might lose that seat, mm -hmm. but she thought it was important to make a stand, and she right. made that stand. And you know, you got to respect people. Like what? No matter again, no matter what side of the partisan divide you're on, you're Republican, you're Democrat, you should want to preserve the integrity of the Supreme Court. And you know, somebody. But we got clear up there. Making, I mean, and he is the most. Years ago, what has changed? But he's still the most conservative. Like it's ridiculous. Clarence Brett is worse. He's even more conservative. And the thing is, I'm saying again, if you wanted a conservative justice, there are plenty of conservative justices. But why they have this time? Man? Because we why ran, are they trying to you, elevate but, this? But because the Democrats, man? the Democrats ran the clock. That's what happened, right? Because they, they, so they could have, they could have presented this in June. They did not. They, they waited. Well, because she now. didn't want right. to be, you know, revealed. She did not want her to be revealed. At right. All. So everyone said that it may be a different. You know, everyone has a different take on that. Why it took so long, and I, I maybe she didn't want to be revealed but at the end of the day they ran the clock so it was a situation where somebody's gonna get picked or but not no they could have they could have picked somebody else the thing is they, they didn't were have time for the for the for the elections in, in november they had, they had time no they did not have time they had time okay they had time i mean they might not have gotten that person through before the elections absolutely but they could have picked somebody else it, it and they time. really just wanted to push this person forth and that means that they are not elevating women's voices not taking women's concerns seriously that's my two cents but yes as for you know other issues with women i understand you have but, but, a they, very but they're getting stronger though this this, this this voice is getting stronger but in um Sadder news, right? right? Sadder news and about like crimes against women, right? Mm -hmm. We have this we have this woman, LaShonda Childs, right? So she's wow. killed. A seventeen year old girl from Ohio killed by her twenty eight year old boyfriend. Mm -hmm. He she had an order of protection in place. Right. Right? Domestic violence. Like it's it's just ridiculous. She had a order of protection in place. And then she like posted on social media that she's not even safe in her own house. Right. And he he well, yeah, I mean, he's he, done so much stuff to her and he killed this woman. Like that This young girl. She wasn't even a woman. I think mm -hmm. what was really crazy, you know, when I was just looking more into the story is the fact that, you know, he had bit her, he had hit her, she had press charges. He got sentenced to 180 days in jail. You know how long he spent in jail? I don't know. 19 days. 19 days. That's a joke. He actually went past their house the month before he killed her and shot up her house. And I'm like, why was this man even allowed on the street? And it's like, you know, we, we're just not taking women's concerns seriously. I and we have. Like, in recent years, we have. Like, think about... That ha that ha that's had ha ha has happened. I'm sorry, guys. But before, mm -hmm. you were viewed as women were viewed as the property of their husbands. So you could just beat them straight up. So now at <laughs> least it's a situation where where governments had to say if you hit a woman, we will press charges against you because what was happening is that women were dropping the charges and then they didn't have a witness and then they didn't have a and th so didn't they didn't have a case. So like. I, I feel like the government is making steps towards this, but it's just not. It's not nearly enough. We live in a rape culture, like dead. Right, of course. We live in a rape culture, of so course. it's like women right. are just viewed as something to expendable, possess, something to possess, <laughs> yeah. something to possess, something that. to own, something. And then we view ourselves like that oftentimes because you say you like you. I'm, I'm not singling out any, you know. Uh, area of expertise or profession profession but like you see a stripper and then people say look that's liberating and that but actually i mean no. i think i think if you want to be a stripper then i mean even you know cardi you know, talking about her later like even she was like you know stripping actually helped me do a lot of things right so i mean i don't i think I'm that's just a different talking about issue. the rapey culture i that think we that's have. just men being toxic and not learning how to treat women the same way they would want to be treated. I think that's what we need to start doing, teaching our boys and our young men differently. I think that's the issue, so not we have, what women so we choose male, to do. We have male strip clubs, Kizzy, right? We have male strip clubs, and we objectify those guys that are doing the same thing because it's all about, like, this sex 
Okay, culture. so then what's right? What's, so, what's, so, what's so, so all issue? I'm saying the issue is we can't have it both ways. You can't say that, oh, we need to have this respect for one one another's I think sexuality. that's two different issues. We have to have this. No, it's, it's really not no, two because, different issues. Because I think because that's kind of that respectability thing. No, if you want people to respect you, you can't take your clothes off. Women can go and strip if they want to. So that is a that is a money that is being exchanged. Men are going there and women going there to see women strip. That's that's always going to be there. But that doesn't mean that then you go to somebody else, so some the woman, male, and decide so the, I can rape her so because I went to a strip right? club so and you, women okay. were stripping there. To right. me, that doesn't, it's two completely different things. I just think that we need to look at the whole thing across the board. I just, I, that's how I, I feel I think the, the key to stopping rape is to teach men to not rape. So how do you teach men not to rape? Because you need to teach them respect for women. You need to teach them what consent is, which a lot of young yeah, they don't know boys don't know is. what consent is. They, they don't they, know what they're consent clueless. is. They're clueless. It, 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 that is a topic that we need to discuss in, at length because yes. it's so like I'm always gonna play devil's advocate. I'm gonna always like think about the the flip side of it. it. It's just it's just unfortunate. And you know our prayers go out to the child's family. And um, yes, and if you are being assaulted, if you are being abused, there is help. You can call the domestic violence helpline. Somebody is one eight hundred cursing you out. Seven nine nine seven two three three. Once again, one eight hundred seven nine nine seven two three three. They will help you. You don't have to give your, you know, location or anything like that. They will help you. They will give you the tools that you need to get out. Get out. I, and you know what's so crazy? Because people think that you have to be physically touched in order to be abused. But you do not. People can talk to you. Um, right. Verbally abusive. And, and curse at you. And, and manipulate you. And if you don't feel comfortable, if you don't feel that you can make the choices for yourself because of some ramification that's going to happen, you're probably being abused. Financial abuse. Not it's giving so, you access to your money. It's That's so, another thing. Yeah, it, abuse comes in so many different faces. Phases. Faces. It's just ridiculous. Right. Ah. Oh. <laughs> mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner yeah. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. The average tax takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. At highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. Welcome back to What's the 4 and one where we're giving you more stories that are popping, and Onika has got a story for us. Ah, uh, Team Libra, Libra Diva. This is this is the story. Marty. So I understand you're crazy, Cardi. I understand you're crazy. So <laughs> Cardi B had to turn herself into the authorities mm -hmm. because okay. she opened up a can of whoop ass on a couple of strippers. <laughs> <laughs> her, her old profession. So so uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently her boo thing has an affinity for the strip club nightlife oh and my um, God. so she was charged with assault and reckless endangerment because apparently it was these two girls that cardi has been threatening okay and then they was made possibly some and they're cheer, working in the strip club right okay. some possibly some cheer throwing this nightclub and um, a strip club in queens mm -hmm. because uh uh the Migos was performing there right mm -hmm. and so apparently cardi got wind that one of uh the strippers one or both well, i think it was the bartenders actually those bartenders yeah, yeah, yeah. oh those are the worst I, i'm at the bartender so anyway he, she tried to pull the edges out and i'm not sure if cardi did it or got her goons to do it but whatever happened uh Dang. cardi is about to they they gonna sue the shit out you cardi because <laughs> <laughs> oh if the boy gonna cheat right and you know the boy's gonna cheat don't lose no dollars uh, behind the boy you know what i mean yeah don't, exactly don't, don't lose any dollars behind the boy because that's what he's gonna do and i know that you know he ain't got no love for them hoes he's just them girls he gonna get right back you know uh listen to jay-z uh the prolific Girl, prophet she forgot that she's okay. not in the bronx and you there's real ramifications for your actions and jay-z uh the 
the prophet, again, Jay-Z the prophet said, you shoot me, you're a hero, I shoot you, I'm a zero. Cardi, hold your head. Like, so, it's bloody shoes. <laughs> like, don't stop them out with your own bloody shoes. Like, just chill. I know you can't, but I'm sorry. Onika, Onika, Onika. I'm going to let you finish. But let me tell you about Taylor Swift. <laughs> So, oh, oh, that is not dope. Oh, girl, you learning. You learning. She is learning from the queen. That, oh, bow down. You so silly. Listen. Wait, so, y'all know y'all want to bow down. <laughs> bow down to the greatness. Did you see that? So, she did a Kanye, Taylor Swift reference right off of the... That was like... Okay, go ahead, girl. Yes, yeah, so, Taylor Swift just went out and endorsed two Democratic candidates. Two Democratic candidates. Now this is, I'm telling you, this is red state Tennessee sweetheart, Taylor Swift, who everybody thought was a secret Trump supporter. And so conservative like Twitter lost their whole mind, their entire mind. But I bet you her father, Mr. Smith, Mr. <laughs> Swift, <laughs> dines with the Trumps, but okay, go ahead. Oh, listen, I, I don't know. But anyway, she also told people to vote and you know vote.org? In the 24 hours after she told people to vote, 65,000 new people registered to vote. Really? And on a typical day, you know what they get? 6,000. Oh, wow. 65,000. So vote.org is actually attributing the boost, a big part of the boost, to Taylor Swift. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Wow. Go ahead, Taylor. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, <laughs> What would the neighbors think? <laughs> I see you! Come look at Mr. Feather! Yay. Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark! We're just playing! We're just playing! I'm trying to get you out of here! Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. The average tax takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. At highway speeds, that's enough time to travel the length of a football field. Stop the texts. Stop the wrecks. The show has come to a close. I don't know. This was a good damn show. This is very good. You better share this, guys. <laughs> you better share this. Let me tell you something. I'm sick of this. <laughs> Whoa. Share it. Whoa. Okay. That, that's, that's, Diva of Comedy that's Instagram. Awful. It's got to be free. I got to be free. I got to be free. What's the follow on one uh, TV on Instagram? We're on Facebook. We're, yes. on, we're, we're on all media outlets. Share. Yes. And Sharon subscribe to our YouTube channel. What's the follow one TV, of course. Once again, subscribe, subscribe. Yes. And remember, also... Hit also us up on our, our, our website, www.whatsthe411.com. Uh-huh. And listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music, Stitcher, and tune in. We're everywhere, y'all. Right? <laughs> so just, if we just get the thumbs up. Yeah, yes, because sir. I'm messing with y'all today. Like, I'm feeling y'all. I'm feeling it. You guys are feeling, feeling us. It. Cheers. <laughs> Till next time, on behalf of... Uh, I'm Kizzy Cox. And on behalf and on of, behalf of Onika McLean, my crazy co-host, thank you for spending your time with What's the Four and One. We will see you next time. Cheers.